It has only been a few months since June, when the giant got Viva was delivered to its owner, Frank Ferdida, who also owns the UFC. Viva is a 94-meter-long leisure yacht constructed by Feedship in their COG shipyard in the Netherlands. Viva was only recently completed in the Netherlands and delivered shortly afterward. She was conceived by Azure Yacht Design and Naval Architecture in partnership with Devoop Naval Architects, and she also showcases interiors that were created by Peter Marino. Hey guys and welcome back to Efficient Power, where if it's efficient and has power then we've got the latest news and updates for you. If you've been watching my videos then help us keep giving you some of these fresh updates by liking and subscribing to our channel. Today we ravage the waters with the Super Yacht Viva, so let's get to it. There is an almost infinite amount of evidence available regarding how Frank Ferdinand III acquired his riches, ranging from his current position as Chief Executive Officer of Station Casinos to how he, along with his brother Lorenzo and childhood buddy Dana White, turned the Ultimate Fighting Championship into a multi-billion dollar promotion. The manner in which he decides to spend such riches, on the other hand, is somewhat less clear, at least for the fun stuff. One example of such a luxury purchase is the ultra-luxurious super yacht known as Viva, which was built by Feedship and comes with a jaw-dropping price tag of $175 million. We know this because the eldest Ferdinand brother has admitted to making this purchase for himself. It should be noted that Feedship appears to be the shipbuilder of choice for the Ferdinand family. Lorenzo Ferdida is the owner of the 285-foot-long or 87-meter-long Lonian, which was constructed by Feedship and cost $160 million. Tillman Ferdida, the cousin of the Ferdida brothers on the other hand, is the proud owner of a more modest rig and boardwalk made by Westport Yachts. This vessel only reaches up to 163 feet or 50 meters and has a price tag of $27 million, which is slightly more reasonable than the previous vessel. Peter Marino was responsible for the creation of its interiors, while Azure Yacht Design was responsible for the creation of its exterior. There is a gym, a beach club, a cinema, a beauty salon, underwater lighting, an elevator, and a helipad located at the stern of the upper deck. Additionally, there is a cinema and a beauty salon on board. The hull of Viva is made of steel, while the superstructure is made of aluminum, and the decks are made of teak. It is powered by two diesel-electric MTU engines, each with 16 cylinders, 3,916 horsepower, and a rotational speed of 2,050 revolutions per minute. It can reach its maximum speed of 20 knots while still maintaining a cruising speed of roughly 12 knots. The capacity of its freshwater tanks is around 71,000 liters, while the volume of gasoline required to fill its fuel tanks is approximately 280,000 liters. The owner desired their new mega boat, which was 94 meters long and built by Feedship like their previous mega yacht, which was just 32 meters shorter, to have a smaller impact on the environment, and that this impact should not be any more than their previous mega yacht. In addition to selecting hybrid propulsion, the owner requested that the designers adhere to a minimalist style in both the outside and the interior decor of the super yacht because they adhere to the less is more philosophical school of thought. As a result, we can observe crisp lines and a significant amount of glass. The decor is reminiscent of that of a beach house. In order to lower fuel usage, the hull has been given a more streamlined appearance. Viva is a motor yacht that is 94 meters in length. The beam of the super yacht is 13.6 meters, and it can hold 2,999 gross tons of cargo. The Viva's exterior was designed by Azure Yacht Design and Naval Architecture and Devoop Naval Architects, while her interior was created by Peter Marino. On board the Super Yacht Viva, there is room for up to 14 passengers in total. The Yacht Viva has a superstructure made of aluminum and a hull made of steel. Two MTU engines provide the thrust for this yacht. The Viva Super Yacht is currently ranked number 86 on the list of the largest yachts in the world. She is the seventh largest feedship built yacht. As you can see in the video that we just shared with you, Viva set sail from the Dutch shipyard in April 2021 and navigated very cautiously through the Dutch canals, coming very close to colliding with the buildings that were located along the canals. Interestingly, the Dutch shipyard feedship has a lot to celebrate after capturing four wins at the boat International World Super Yacht Honors 2022. One of these awards was for Motor Yacht of the Year, which was won by the luxury boat Viva. The awards, which are now in their 17th year, were presented live at Guildhall in London, 
where there was a 100% sellout of tickets for the gala ceremony that was held to announce the winners. Shipyards place a significant amount of importance on these renowned accolades due to the fact that the vessels being considered for the awards are evaluated by a panel of super yacht owners who have a keen eye for excellence in all facets of life on board. Other noteworthy winners are the 39.6 meters Perseverance one, which won Sailing Yacht of the Year and Sailing Yachts, 30 meters to 39.9 meters for the Finnish Shipyard Baltic Yachts, the 51 meters Masquinata, which won the refitted yachts category for Lusbon, and the 89 meters Super Yacht, Here Comes the Sun, which won the refitted yachts award for Damon Yachting. However, Viva clearly stole the show as she was declared the Motor Yacht of the Year. Well, this just shows the grandeur of this super yacht and how everyone just loves it. Coming to the makers of the Viva Super Yacht feed ship, which has its headquarters in the Netherlands and can trace its history back to 1,849, is often regarded as the most successful company in the industry of building pure custom super yachts. All of the boats in the feed ship fleet represent a new benchmark in terms of workmanship, design, engineering, and construction. This is due to the fact that each new feed ship represents an improvement over their previous work. This is what the company likes to refer to as the unrelenting quest of perfection, and the brand new Super Yacht Viva exemplifies this level of perfection in every way possible. In addition, the year 2022 marks 73 years since feed ship was initially established. Although the three primary players in the first export association of Dutch shipbuilders each had histories that date back several decades further, the official founding of what is now known as the world's premier super yacht brand took place in a cafe in Amsterdam in 1949. It doesn't matter how unique they are, each and every feed ship that has ever been produced has one thing in common, an innate quality that you can only truly sense when you go on board the vessel, and it is this characteristic that ensures the vessel maintains her value. The company strives to improve with each new iteration of the feed ship, thereby redefining what it means to be flawless. With ultra-advanced technologies and materials, incredibly cutting-edge design tools, and the most recent discoveries in building techniques and organizational frameworks, the Viva Super Yacht is without a doubt the most impressive vessel of its kind, and there is no way around that fact. Every new feed ship represents an accomplishment in and of itself, since its builders are always pushing themselves to redefine what constitutes perfection and ensure that each new model is superior to the one that came before it in terms of its structure and its use of technology. Feed ships are the outcome of an evolutionary approach to research and development as well as an overall quality enhancement mindset. This approach results in yachts that can't be replicated by anyone else because they incorporate space-age technologies and hypermodern design tools. Well, there is no exception that the Viva Super Yacht is best of its kind. If you liked the video, don't forget to press that like button and give us your thoughts in the comments below. You heard it first from Efficient Power, where it is efficient and has power. Thank you for watching.